Hello my YouTube beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a St. Patty's Day tutorial and I was super excited to come up with this. I do have green eyes so I think that this look definitely complements my eyes. But yeah, this is the look that I came up with. It is a smoky lower lash line with, uh, it's basically green everything. Uh, green, green eyeshadow, green eyeliner, green underneath the lower lash line and I just paired it with a mauve lip just to kind of neutralize things out a little bit. I always get so excited on St. Patty's Day. My dad's in Chicago and if I could go there and see the green river, like that's the dream. So I just thought I would come on here and film a quick tutorial on this look that I have on my eyes right now. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this look, then just keep watching. Well, hello, my YouTube beauties. We are going to start with the Skin Orchid Gel. This is a mattifying day treatment seal. I love this stuff. It is so good as a primer, and it's purple. I mean, how how do you beat that? <laughs> um, this was my first time using it, so I was a little skeptical. It's like, wow, this is very purple. Is it gonna come off purple in my uh, on my skin? And Luckily it didn't and it just kind of makes everything really seamless and smooth. I'm just gonna take the Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation and actually this was my first time using this as well. I am in 03 so you can see I had a little trouble pumping it out of the bottle. I'm just gonna take that Wet n Wild Flat Kabuki Brush. Um, <laughs> this is me checking the color of uh, the foundation that I got but um, I heard from the lady at Ulta to use a brush and don't use a beauty blender for this. So I took her word and I think it turned out really, really nice. Honestly, I love this foundation. Yeah, yeah, I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna take the Naked Skin Concealer um, and just conceal my dark circles. And just blend that out with any um, under eye brush. I use the Sigma something. <laughs> I can't remember it right now, but that's what I used. Any brush will work. and I always lose things. I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I just use that banana shade just to set my under eyes. Next, I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit and I actually got this for um, as a present from my friend Crystal, so thank you. And I haven't used this on camera yet, so I was a little, um, I was really excited to try it. And I think it turned out really nicely. Um, it kind of gives a natural contour. And for a St. Patty's Day look, you really want everything to stay flawless throughout the day. And so I thought going in with a cream um, contour beforehand would do the trick. I'm going to take the RCMA uh, No Color Powder and just set my whole face. I'm gonna take the Sun and Bronze NYC Bronzer in Fire Island Tan. And just bronze up my skin a little more. Yes, I was singing throughout this video, so that is what you will be seeing me do. <laughs> I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Mellow Wine. It is such a pretty color, but it is so pigmented, so you do want to be careful. As you can see, it just kind of showed up on my cheek like that, so 
It's good to blend it out. <laughs> I'm gonna take the um, the Laura Mercier highlight um, baked or sorry matte radiance baked powder highlight 01 this is so beautiful it's such a natural highlight but it is gorgeous I love the champagne pearl color that it gives off I'm just gonna highlight my nose the tops of my cheekbones and my cupid's bow and I'm just gonna fill in my brows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and just swoolie through those. Okay, next we're gonna start with eyes and we are gonna take the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and just set our eyes, or prime our eyes um, for eyeshadow. I am going to take, um, actually the first color I'm gonna take is a beach, a peach smoothie and I'm just going to start building that up in my crease. This is a really nice transition color. Next I am going to take uh, Beaches in Cream and it's just a little darker than Peach Smoothie and continue to build that up in my crease. What we're gonna go for is kind of an, um, a really nice um, blended effect um, go a little darker each time um, in eyeshadow and I'm taking creme brulee here and again building that up in my crease just so it looks flawless and blended and the color kind of the colors kind of complement each other so that's why I went this route I'm gonna take uh, cocoa bear by makeup geek oh these are all makeup geek shadows I don't know if I mentioned that but I am going to again put that in my crease but also put it in my um, my outer V of my eye just to give a little dimension. This look involves a lot of blending. So you will see me going back in and blending all of these colors out so they do look flawless. Okay, now I'm gonna take Anastasia Beverly Hills Fudge. This color is beautiful. Wow, it's so pigmented. It's beautiful. And I'm just gonna focus this on the outer V of my eye, just strictly there. Just to give a little bit more dimension. I can't stress how beautiful this color is. It blew me away. This was the first time I used a lot of these products. The foundation, the primer, so kind of a first impressions but all of I love all of these products and I am going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyeshadow in Peacock I was really excited to use this and I used it with a brush and it did not give the color payoff that I wanted so you'll see me go in um, here in a little bit with some Mac fix plus just to intensify it a little bit because it was I don't know it kind of looked a little dull and patchy for me but I just went in with a flat shader brush and just put that on my eyes and I thought this really complimented my green eyes it's such a beautiful color it kind of reminds me of the Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadow the that formula but a little more metallic so that's me just praying uh, fix plus on it and you'll see how much more the color payoff is it's like can you tell the difference between my two eyes it's crazy it made it really dark and pigmented and even more metallic I was really, really happy with uh, with this eyeshadow. And again, just blend it out. You can take any of the transition colors we use to do that. I'm gonna take Makeup Geek's High Tea and just put that under my lower lash line, just real close to my lash line. I am going back in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Fudge and I'm just darkening up the lower lash line a little bit just to smoke it out a little bit. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Gel um, Eyeliner in Blackest Black and I didn't really film myself doing the eyeliner because it's a little hard to do that on camera. But yeah, just make yourself a wing. And this is the ColourPop 
um, this is the ColourPop eye pencil, like the gel cream one in the green color. I forget what, I think it's called Workout. I don't know, I'll, I'll put it in the description bar below if it's not that. I'm gonna take Gerard Cosmetics um, lipstick in Rodeo Drive. Thought this was a nice kind of mauve pink to neutralize the look a little bit. And that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you have not already. I will see you guys in my next video.